of the first collections to catch my eye after I started working at the archives was the Board of Theater Supervisors documents. I was immediately curious. What was a theater supervisor, and why was the city involved? In 1911, the city passed an ordinance regulating theater performances in Seattle. The law prohibited any performance of a, quote, obscene, indecent, or immoral nature, and encompassed everything from live stage productions to penny arcades and film screenings. The ordinance established an advisory committee to help enforce the rules, originally called the Board of Theater Censors and later the Board of Theater Supervisors. The group's work included reviewing potentially offensive films and conducting on-site theater investigations. This collection documents the board's activities between 1926 and 1965. Probably my favorite items in the collection are letters and reports from the board describing films they determined were offensive. For example, this 1954 letter reporting on the film The French Line details exactly which content the board felt should be removed, such as the line, Pierre writes again, and a dance scene in which Jane Russell, quote, bumps and grinds. There are also lists of films the board previewed each year, with corresponding viewing restrictions and scenes the board determined were in violation of the city ordinance. It's documents like these that really give a sense of how carefully board members watched each questionable film. Perhaps unsurprisingly, not everyone approved of the board's work. In 1924, Mayor John Doerr called the group, quote, non-salaried busybodies, and in 1950, the city received several letters protesting the banning of the film Stromboli, including one that reads, why don't you fellows go down to the public library and tear up Oscar Wilde and many other works of art while you're at it? I think the ban smells of police state methods. The city's theater ordinances were declared unconstitutional by King County Superior Court in 1965 and the Washington State Supreme Court in 1968, thus disbanding the Board of Theater Supervisors. For more information on this collection or any others in the archives, just email archives at seattle.gov.